Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in this video we are going to do a deep dive into the nitty gritties of earth pits which are also called ground pits or earth inspection chambers. In this video, I will discuss what is an earth pit, the various applications of earth pits, the different types of earth pits, the materials used while manufacturing and finally a brief overview of the installation procedure for an earth pit. Let's quickly start by understanding what exactly an earth pit is. An earth pit is a type of an enclosure used in earthing systems to access and maintain the earth electrodes and other components of the earthing system. It is a type of underground box typically made of reinforced concrete or plastic and is used to access earth electrodes such as ground rods. It typically has a removable cover which allows access to the interior of the chamber. Now let's look at some applications. First of all, inspection. The earth pit provides a convenient and safe way to access the earth electrodes and other components of the earthing system, allowing them to be inspected for signs of damage, corrosion or other issues. This is important for ensuring the safety and performance of the earthing system and for identifying any potential problems that might cause harm. Secondly, testing. The earth inspection chamber can be used to perform tests on the earthing system such as resistance tests or continuity tests. These tests help to ensure that the earthing system is working perfectly and can identify issues that need to be addressed. Thirdly, maintenance. As the earth pit provides access to the earth electrodes, it makes it easy to perform maintenance tasks such as cleaning components or watering them to maintain the required resistance which is necessary for smooth operation of the earthing system and also to extend its life. Now let's understand the difference between the different types of earth pits. First of all, we have the lightweight plastic earth pit. This pit is made of a high grade plastic for high strength and stress levels, allowing it to withstand a maximum load of 2000 kilograms. The lightweight design also makes it easy to handle, to store, to move, and this all improves installation efficiency. These earth pits are typically injection molded and can be produced in a wide range of shapes and sizes. They are relatively inexpensive and easy to install and maintain. The second type of earth pit is the concrete earth pit. Reinforced concrete is a common material used for such earth pits as it is strong, durable and resistant to corrosion. Such earth pits are heavy duty and have a load rating of up to 4000 kilograms. Hence, the connection of the earth rod is protected by the concrete pit, which makes it accessible for inspection. Finally, let me give you a five-step installation procedure for earth pits. First, dig a hole in the ground at the site of the earthing system, using a shovel or any other excavation tool. The earth pit will be installed at ground level, so make sure the dimensions of the hole can accommodate the earth pit. Step 2. As per the earth system design, Place the earth electrode in the hole. Note, copper bonded rods are recommended to increase the earth contact and reduce earth resistance. Step 3. Fill the hole around the earth electrode with conductive material, such as an earth enhancing compound. This material provides a low resistance path to the earth and ensures that the earth rod is grounded properly. Step 4. Now install the earth pit in the hole, making sure that it is level and stable. Step 5. Connect the earth rod to the earthing system using a conductor such as a wire or a cable. That's it. This conductor will now provide a grounding connection for the earthing system. Since the earth pit is now installed, it will allow for easy access to the earth electrode for maintenance. That's why all earthing systems should have earth pits for long-term electrical safety. I hope you now have a clear idea about earth pits, their types, their applications and the installation procedure. To avoid electrical hazards, you should only procure earth pits tested by the highest quality standards. At Axis, we manufacture and supply a wide range of earth pits tested as per IEC 62561-5. Our earth pits are used for substation earthing, solar earthing, in addition to just simple residential and commercial structures. Please share your feedback and queries in the comment section below. Do like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about lighting protection, grounding, along with other videos about electrical engineering. I'll see you in the next video.